Hey guys, it's me, Vinny, breaking. Hey guys, it's me, Vinny. There's breaking news going on around the MLB. Um, in case you haven't heard, in 2023, the Seattle Mariners will be hosting the 2023 MLB All Star Game in their very own T Mobile Park. The last time they hosted the, the All Star Game was in 2001, the same season that the Mariners last made the playoffs. Uh, and is also with a season where they had a record 116 wins in a single season, where they eventually lost the New York Yankees in the ALCS and have not been back to the postseason ever since. Um, very sad, but at the same time, this could be a big opportunity for a Mar for the Mariners, a young squad that has a chance to potentially go back into the go back to the playoffs as a wild card, most likely, and see what could happen there. Anything can happen, guys. Um, but I would say I do feel for the city of Atlanta, but at the same time, I'm also not that shocked considering the circumstances. I think Atlanta will probably get it by like 2024, 2025, around there. Um, if anyone's curious why it's not next year, that's mainly because, and that's because it's already been confirmed that the Dodgers will be hosting the All-Star game in 2022 to make up for 2020, of course, the year of the 60 game schedule and COVID. So a lot of things can happen from then. Um, let's just hope that there's nothing very majorly political that happens or something um, structurally across, you know, the, uh, the nation or the state of Washington that would lead to the all-star game being canceled or moved to a different city like the Dodgers in 2021, 2020, or the Braves in 2021, where of course theirs got moved to Denver, Colorado. And that home run derby was amazing. Yes, the home run derby will of course be there in Seattle, uh, in T-Mobile Park for everyone there to see. Should be very, very exciting. I'm I'm excited for it. I love the All-Star Game every single year. Though I feel like with a lot of people outside, outside of the home run derby, the All-Star Game is just where people just complain and bitch about how a guy that they wanted did not make the all-star team. It's just so ridiculous. Um, now, I don't think that should be the only thing that decides someone's Hall of Fame case, but then again, there's guys that have had MVPs and more than 10 um, all-star nods, and they're still on you know, like Keith Hernandez and that guy on the Cardinals. That it's got, not, not him, someone else escapes me, but either way, that should not be the case. Um, anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the news. Uh, if there's anything else with the MLB, please let me know. Uh, yes, the A's do need to get a bit better, but we're pulling for them over in, um, we're pulling for them over there in um, Oakland. And as a New Yorker, I feel for you every single day. I just hope that you guys don't leave because that's gonna be a big blow for the city of Oakland. The fact that they would lose the Warriors to the San Fran, they would lose the Raiders to Las Vegas and potentially the A's could potentially move there. I hope not, but then again, nothing is any shocking at this point. Anything could happen, and I, and I feel for the people of Oakland that the politicians let you down. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I want to say. Uh, please like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell to hear more from Zane Stitch 2 Media. As always, see you later, guys, and uh, peace. Also, yes, I will come a bit later with a video on the 2021 gubernatorial recall election in California. Uh, get around after in just a few minutes.